Beer can be anything. You can add anything to it, process it in any way. It's really up to you to redefine beer every day. Balancing all those needs was kind of what made New Belgium New Belgium because we decided that we would have fun, be profitable, and we would make amazing beer. And somehow a group of hippies did it. You know, 24 years later, 30 years for New Belgium, we did the thing that we set out to do. Is it sour? Yes. Do you taste any beer notes like malt or anything like that? Like you think that there's any residual sugars in there? Nice and sour. I've been at New Belgium for almost 24 years. I started here in 1997 as an assistant. I got a job from a couple ladies that I met at a keg party. One of them being Kim Jordan, our co-founder. So it's the first four set of fooders that we got. They came in 2003. Over the years, I learned a little bit about brewing and I asked Kim if I could go back to school to learn sensory science. What that does for me is I can taste a beer, break it down into chemical attributes, and I can know if there's something there that wasn't expected, that will tell me what went wrong. That was something I was really interested in. We had a taste panel here, but it was very informal. And I was interested in turning that kind of informal subjective taste panel into another scientific tool that we could use in our quality assurance toolbox. Growing up in this industry, I was one of the only women in, in the room most of the time. If you're a brewer or if you're into in this production thing, you like the work. And occasionally you turn around and there might be people following you and you realize you are kind of a little bit of a role model and that's important to acknowledge that and to bring in more women to the industry. And over the years, it's changed. Like I'm never the only woman in the room. Got it. This is it. All right, you're gonna pour them in. My job is kind of twofold. One, I'm the wood cellar director and blender. So basically that means my job is to make sure that all of these barrels, the liquid inside of them are delicious and ready when they're supposed to be. And my other job is to push the boundary and that definition of beer as far out as I possibly can with new ingredients or processes or anything and just continuously wow beer drinkers and maybe myself a little bit too. It's no fun to do the same thing over and over again and it might be safe but there's no excitement to that and you're not pushing boundaries and i do that a lot i expose us in the wood cellar we do a new process and new ingredients i am terrified the whole way through making a beer until the time i open it and pour it and taste it then i am elated it's okay if it's not the best thing or exactly you can taste every single decision all the weird things all the ups and downs all the nausea and if you don't have an appreciation the admiration phase it's just work every single time you have a shift you can pick up a glass of beer and admire your work and be really satisfied that it's worth doing This is my husband's prize pear tree because it died three years in a row. He was absolutely sure that we're gonna make a beer. So I'm just gonna take um, some of these pears, infuse them into bourbon and make them like a pear ginger. There's a lot of things that I bring in from outside. And to be honest, I think that every beer I've made is a reflection of where I've been. You know, the industry looks much different than it did 23, 25 years ago. We're actually turned around and looking at ourselves a lot these days, and that's important. You know, maybe we don't always like what we see, but we're changing. We are recognizing it and saying, what do we want the industry to look like, and how do you get there from here?